One infantry down on the boat to our, our right, on the left. Now taking rounds to the 50. Another boat swarming from the right side. And they go, oh, what a drive-by. Chinese boat takes out at least a gunner. And that one is smoking. He's going to have to fall back. Marines lose one. But they're going to able to take the first boat out. There you go. Two Chinese boats down. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky, where we take a look at a Gamma Squad from the top down. And this one, we've got the U.S. Marine Corps up against the PLA Naval Marine Corps, or Chinese Marine Corps, on Scorpo. This is Scorpo RAS V4, and it's probably one of the more playable Scorpo rounds, if I'm being honest. It's got some decent distance between the points. You're not going crazy far, but also has plenty of infantry, vehicle, helicopter, even some coastal battles with the amphibious vehicles and the rib boats. It all just works really, really well, and this game did did not disappoint. What I thought was going to be a stomp or a roll turned out to be a hell of a good grind, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with a map, emote, or faction you'd like to see in the future. And don't forget to check out the live streams over on twitch.tv slash moidog, or here on YouTube where I stream throughout the week. But that's it for me. Enjoy the video. Peace. All right, I in the sky... And we've got Scorpo, Scorpo RAS V4, and I need to make sure I'm on my admin voice comms so we can hear those sweet, sweet command comms. Uh, Scorpo RAS V4, we have the U.S. Um, up against hey, the command, People's Liberation Army, and we are on board with the USMC. USMC starting off on the Strange northeast zone. side of the map, uh, kind of a... Scorpo is a giant map. This is still a little bit smaller of a layer than what they have um, yeah, so in, in other ones. So uh, cutting off six, uh, a large section of, of um, some of the playable area. But uh, first point, uh, radio tower, then to Cureland, then observation point. outpost, over uh, to Terraburg, Lysenur. Yeah, pronounce that correctly. Sorry if you're Norwegian. I just butchered whatever that is. Uh, bring a doll, because, and then uh, the PLA the main vehicles we have with the USMC, if, uh, a few of the AAVs, the amphibious lodges, uh, a rib boat, a couple uh, transport that spawns in later, a couple of the rib boats with the 50 cal on it, a couple lab 25s, AAV with the uh, the grenade launcher on it, and then an Abrams that spawns in at 12 minutes, and a helicopter in two. For the PLA, they also have some, this is like the PLA NMC, the People's Liberation Army Naval Marine Corps, right? So they have uh, the amphibious vehicles, uh, a couple red boats as well, uh, a amphibious like APC, then they have the ZBD-05, um, well, and then the ZTD-05. ZBD, like the IFV, and ZTD the is a uh, tank destroyer type thing. Um, yeah, but we are off. Let's freaking go. Let's see here. Uh, I know they were talking on command comms just getting started, so we're hoping we get a nice communicative game. Is that is that a, is that the right word? Is that even a word? Uh, first... Point. Looks like it's being capped by Squad 6, uh, who, well, let's see here. Squad 6, Rookie SL, I like it. Rookie SL going, this is what you guys need to do, okay? This man is a Rookie SL, and he is electing to do the back cap. My man. These uh, these guys, that's, that's how you know you got a good squad leader. Um, on the outside, though, while they worry about the back caps... We have a few, well, this is a nice little armada we got going out here. One Lodgy boat, which is off to our left and on our right, and then the forward boats are the 50 cal boats. So this should be, this is not a bad place to push as well. Uh, you can see on the map, there's a couple red flags. People are guessing where points might be. Out, but if you uh, see anything, hear anything, shoot anything, let us know. So we don't bring a lot of you through there. See some good comms already, trying to coordinate where they're going. Lodgy boats turning back around, so the 50 cal boats are going to start off. And right ahead of us, around this corner, they might see on the horizon the Chinese boats. Oh, there you got some. Oh no! Right when he turns! A catastrophe, a disaster. The other boat opens up, though. 
50 cal on the shore. Start sending rounds down. And he's got a bunch. Oh, and they're starting to impact as well. Chinese boats taking rounds. And you can see sparks flying off the rib. 50 cal ahead of us is reloading. He's got a, a boat headed straight for him. Driver starts charging as well. He's about to, there you go. Oh, one infantry down on the boat to our, our right, on the left. Now taking rounds to the 50. Another boat swarming from the right side. And they go, oh, what a drive-by. Chinese boat takes out at least a gunner. And that one is smoking. He's going to have to fall back. Marines lose one. But they're going to be able to take the first boat out. There you go. Two Chinese boats down. And Marines managed to save this nice little Chinese boat flank. Even after losing one of their gunners. Fantastic in-game. Oh, and they turn it around. Just in time to see the helicopter. Oh no. That's a it's a full, it's a full helicopter. Oh my gosh! It's a catastrophe again! The Chinese heli! Trying to be sneaky and runs right into 350 cals. And that is not how you want to start if you're the Chinese side. What an absolute start for these, uh, <laughs> these uh, USMC. It was one squad, squad three here. Chaos with the huge push out here uh, running his boats. And man, you got to love that. Uh, well, you don't got to love that. Magnus uh, forgot his... Uh, <laughs> His little floaty and he <laughs> imagine you you have that amazing start to the game and then you just just jump overboard and you sink to the bottom there you go <laughs> hey squad one on this first um resupply can you just put a hundred build in there for me Squad the three AI with the play of the games at the moment, and that has allowed USMC capturing Radio Tower. Kirlin is now being pushed by Squad two with Alaji, and then you have a lab twenty five coming up the road. Ooh, you have a uh, ooh oh, ooh ooh. Are, hey, Moy, are these guys just on the top of the hill? No, they are hard charging into a tunnel, and it looks like Squad ten. I. I don't think tin, tin, tin might have fobbed up on the... Oh my goodness, they have. Squad Tin commands, has done a mountain fob. They're trying to go for an ATGM base. Yeah, I'd like to request that we get a repair station over on Cager Land. Yeah, I'll drop you one. So, mountain yeah, fob, you. and so they're going to be... If you drop a repair station there, you're going to have to come up this hillside every time you need a repair. So, I don't know if that's the best idea. Command trying to sort out logistics of uh, repair stations and Scorpo is a very difficult map to play in. Uh, but RC Cola War Zombie just below Squad 10's soon to be built ATGM fob. And that is going to be dangerous. You can see infantry spawning in from the rally, running all the way down. We might re request that but right now let's hold on that and hold on a second while they sort that out we have maybe a little bit of revenge trying something like that avenge maybe avenge is the better word than revenge because the zbd is now flanking on the outside of squad three trying to get the uh the squad who took out pretty much their entire water troops just a few minutes ago. 50 cal starting to shoot and what? I don't even know what happened. Looks like he hit something on, on the ground. LAV trying to open up as well. Oh no, not the LAV. He was actually taking fire from the 50 cal. The boats. Oh my goodness. The boats decided to engage with 50s. They said, I don't care. I know you're an IFV, but 50 cal can still pin through and ZBD does take some damage. Only. LAV now from way downtown is starting to take pot shots. You can see him. Look at that. LAV is actually getting some a lot of shots on about sitting on your screen as you now have ZBD dropping some defensive smoke. ZBD is just going to be kind of 
stuck in the middle of nowhere here. LAV in a perfect position, just sit and wait for that smoke to clear. ZBD not able to go full speed ZBD in the water. And now you have infantry as well running around on the right side of our uh, the coastline here. Looks like maybe AT trying to line up a good shot. Another defensive smoke, and this is... Well, you can see those AT4s. LAV is still trying to take some shots. ZBD has made some horrible choices, and I think they realize it. More impacts from the LAV-25, and it should be an easy mop-up here in just a second. Trying to do some drive smoke, but it's just so difficult. Uh, more impacts coming in. And now really trying to figure out where exactly this infantry is. If they're able to get an AT4 on them. But you see this uh, this health bar down. This orange bar. That means they have very low health. And there it is. Fire going in. AT4 gets a little short. A few more rounds. And there it goes. ZBD pops. Stuck in the middle of the bay. Distance going from behind them, still going north. And Do we need 500 for that rev station. You got any left? This coastline has just been an absolute vehicle graveyard for the Chinese. And hold on a second, they're not done yet. Chinese bows flanking around the backside. And let's see, you actually have quite a few infantry. And so if they're able to get something up, maybe they want to go for another sneaky toe fob or something. So you have Squad 10 with their AT gym fob trying to get a flank around and do some damage. Uh, but those boats, I mean, it's pretty easy to, to spot those, so we'll have to check back in here in a second. But the Marines are marining. They're, they're owning the Marines right now. Or Marina. Isn't this normally called Marina? I believe this is the Marina objective. So uh, living up to their names right now, the, uh, the Chinese People's Liberation Army Naval Marine Corps really needs to get their head on straight because observation outpost has just been secured by usmc means terraberg is the next active point squad eight is already almost there this could just be an absolute disaster for the team you can see a lot of infantry are right here this is not good so let's turn this outline on you can see all the red and blue blue is marines uh, red is Chinese, and they are stuck in between two, uh, one unactive point and one active point. Off to our, I believe, right side. This is the active point that the, the Chinese team needs to capture right now. This point that they're pushing is uncapturable. This is uh, Cure Land. And Cure Land, they can't secure because Marines have observation outposts. So right now... Uh, the Marines are, are kind of just sucking them into a fight that really doesn't matter. Uh, Chinese squad leaders need to really just back their troops up and focus on the active objective because at the moment you have squad 8 pushing in close to Terraberg and it looks like they might just uh, knock out the light transport vehicle and an infantry or two that's on it. But really good kind of fighting right now even if this point isn't active. You can see with the camo, if you don't have if you don't have outlines on, it's actually very difficult to see everybody. You turn these outlines on. Look how, look how many infantry are actually really close to this hab. Marine vehicles are. If you notice though, they're they're supporting their infantry. This AAV right now, slowly moving up, and this Chinese APC. Was it the ZSD? Is an open top. Um, I'm not sure if the gunner was killed earlier, but just not in a good position to support their infantry. And now you have with the with the AAV support on the right in the river, you have infantry right here moving up, and it's just great to see them working in tandem. Serve though might get boned by boots and cats running right into him. Oh, he ADS as he sees boots and cats goes down. Serve, trying to push through and might just run into Lenny and Binja Bear. Doesn't see him just yet. 
Oh, grenade tossed by Binja Bear. Might get in the river. And wow. Was it Mick? McNiv, very careful or very uh, uh, lucky not to go down there. Giggity laying down prone and kind of waterboarding himself as he tries to get across the river here. But this is uh, is going to be very hard for um, the Chinese to get out of because everyone right now looks like they're tunnel visioning. Even after these little skirmishes, you still have so many infantry. They're spawning in on the hab. Did you say you're shooting toes at infantry? Is it turned to this? We commit war comes out here. Fucking left and right. All shooting ATGMs at infantry, supposedly. Yeah, yeah. We're we might see the ZBD. Right now. This is nuts. I just hit a 750 meter headshot. That just that just blew my record out of the water. This is the view he's going to get. I mean, it is awesome. I mean, this is badass. Whoa. Did he actually just hit infantry? Hey, he, he might have missed. <laughs> I mean, a little cheeky with this. You need to be careful. You don't want to spend too much ammo on... on uh, some memes when all of a sudden a vehicle shows up. Especially, this is actually a Chinese helicopter. Uh, Kilo Voburn is kind of scouting at the moment. The enemy have a net up somewhere. Sure He's going to be a little too high for the ATGM to try to get him. But you, you saw he actually dropped off infantry nearby. And might be trying to do a nice little sneaky insert. Helicopter overwatching Dude, as infantry have, like a sapper uh, goes to dig down the fob. Uh, I could do a build drop on L14. Oh, and this uh, is some spec ops stuff right now. Flump much. was dropped off by the helicopter and going in to try to knock out the, uh, I think I found out the tow fob. With Chachi Hilo. Uh, it's on the island on M10. Uh, no, they were suppressing enemy half on ridiculous. 6. Thank you. Lump pushing up. You see Jim Possible right at the top of the cliff here. Now, the thing is... Uh-oh. ATGM! Did you not see the helicopter? He's trying to go for it. They're trying to distract. Three. How likely is it that you'll be able to count Oh, this is ballsy! He's just baiting him now. Helicopter just baiting that. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. He flew too low. Loses his rotors and crashes into the road. Got a little too cocky for his own good. And slams into the Scorpo forest. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Nearly pulls out an amazing... 500 ammo bait and well just can't do it and he oh hold on a second where is this ATGM going now trying to land all the way down here not quite sure where he was sending that one but there you go oh. enemy radio is down understood nice job is he actually gonna do this and then he gets shot by <laughs> oh the disrespect that's too funny thought he was all alone and you had one more uh, Jim Possible up uh, sitting and he was uh, with binos up the hill sees that happen <laughs> Oh my goodness. Enemy armored vehicle uh, marked on J13. Unfortunately, it, you know, it didn't destroy the ATGM outright, but it did spend another 500 ammo. Um, so <laughs> let's see here. Um, 
they actually only have one uh one ATGM left. Oh, and this is actually good timing. Strikes coming in. I have an enemy Logi, Hab, and like six, seven, eight guys along with a radio on the path of the rocket if they all stay still for long enough. All right, let's try to see uh, this. I got a Logi dropping some supplies at Kirland for our armor uh, on the rep station. And then the rest will go to outpost. The ammo, ammunition will go to outpost. Airstrike coming in. Oh, that is just unfortunate. Right, the rocket strike completely missed. I don't know if it was because of the elevation, but the rocket strike did nothing. It yep. literally missed a mountain. Copy that. So if you notice, man, that's unfortunate. Um, the uh, the uh, airstrike, it hit the first. It, it goes into a line, right? One time, that was it. So the first rocket impacted the side lines, of the mountain. And then because of the angle and then the way the hill slopes down, the second or third one landed here and then down below. So if you actually there, wanted to impact, a, uh, you need to go it from you know screen vehicle, right to screen left up the hill. So that way it's all impacting in the right spot. A little unfortunate here. Yeah, it's about, like, to the south. Squad six. I marked uh, an abandoned enemy vehicle. I want you guys That's to not, focus real I, quick. I know y'all want to see the action yeah, and whatnot. I want uh, you to focus real quick on the uh, the vehicle play yeah, right now from the Chinese forces. The they are very separated uh, from infantry. Three, you have again, the uh, you have the ZTD heading, like, or is it ZBD? Yeah, yeah ZTD uh, off by himself. Uh, you have these vehicles. Uh, flanking around again. I think they're trying to do a giant flank. Uh, a couple APCs that were not really doing anything. Marine vehicles right now are working really close together with their infantry. Chinese vehicles are kind of just playing solo. There is an enemy IFV, stormed IFV on Terraburg on 1377. He hasn't moved all. I don't know what he's doing, but. Oh, it's the. Um... It's the open cockpit. Uh, American made. Damn straight. <laughs> there you go. Uh, rolling up into Scorpo. And so infantry are pretty okay on observation outpost. Chinese fob destroyed between Kurland and observation. Uh, the active point. Now, uh, Terraburg which squad three and eight have set up uh this is a marine corps fa that we're about to see right here see that, that the hourglass the uh denoting the radio um, itself there is an enemy tracked vehicle in that tunnel because my sapper can hear it he's near the tunnel he can hear it inside the tunnel. Yeah, and all this we're red you can see the right chinese now, radio center your screen and they are kind of pinched so marine fob right below us marine fob off uh ahead of us and in between, you got the Chinese spawning in. So uh, this dome that you can see right here, overlay, this is the capture area. So squads on both sides, you can see them fanning out if you're the Chinese, moving both east and west. The, Very difficult because you got to fight two fronts. But I'm not seeing any Chinese oh, vehicle oh, assets that can actually help them out right now. You do have this AAV <laughs> running in for the Marines. AT hitting in the side of that AAV that is CD Rob laying prone there, but AAV just shakes it off, uh, keeps on rolling. Over to with the, tank. the punk goes down. You got boots and boots and cats. Sam Crow, cry. I know, I know. I need to go for the half first though. AV just slow in its roll up on the hill. Got a lot of infantry. Just as I was, just as I was saying, the infantry and vehicle support was great. Now the vehicle's kind of going all by himself. Actually, not liking how this AV is just it's getting a little too away from his infantry cover, especially since he's soloing. Goes right in, taunter. Loses his engine, and there you go, right on cue. Two ATs right into the side of it. Swap to the 50 cal. Try, oh, swap to the, the grenade launcher, actually. Unloading on Xenox. 
and then into the half. The punk goes down. He just spawned in. CD Rob running right by, and he might have been able to get another AT rearmed. But Taunter has just shoved himself right into the hornet's nest, and there you go. Hat round pops him, and not quite sure what he expected, but that is not hey, what we've Rob, seen up until this sorry. point. Your move time now. Great ambush and kill by the Chinese right there, but really making it easy for him. Uh, if you just maybe slow down a little bit, because you have a lot of infantry now that are just stuck in this really kind of grindy forest firefight. Uh, shady goldfish and boots and cats, two ships passing in the night. Boots takes a couple shots from his front and doesn't exactly see where Jenkins is. Gets mopped up, and let's see the push here. Oh, we have... A uh, Sapper Gaiman. Uh, Star Wars has dropped, I think, a C4. Oh, no, no, no. He's dug the radio completely down. And this is the... Guys, bridge seems clear. I want you to take a bridge. second for yourself. What is wrong with this picture that you see right here? What is wrong with this picture? Yeah, tank bridge is clear. All right. Think it to yourself. Okay. You got five, four, three, two, one. The this Lodgy is vehicle is literally right next to the radio. How many times that squad leaders get lazy, they drive their Lodgy right up to the radio, they leave it parked there, and it's just a beacon of where that radio is. So, grenade tossing down to the combat NG. Oh, and what a shot, what a throw. That was Duck Eye Dude tossing a grenade, and it tumbles down the hill, knocks him out, and he's a squad leader though, right? I don't think he can get the radio radio up unless he swaps his kit off this Lodgy. Uh, he needs a shovel radio. trying to get we're, Sunstorm uh, up and, and there you go. Jank is now swapping to a shovel and I think that radio should be saved. Jank um, hey, should that save well. it. And there you go. Ticket saved. 266 tickets to 183. And here you go. Chinese helicopter again coming in low and... <clears throat> the, helo can, uh, the Chinese helicopter pilots know that there's a whole sky they can fly in, right? Like, they can fly so high above uh, the trees, the valleys, the water. They're, they're aware of that, right? Is the enemy radio marked accurately? Chinese helicopter loses his rotors once again. And trying to take a yeah, look at have, American have our, armor have assets. Have if anybody can get and it looks like now. you have a face-off down this uh, tunnel. Um, okay. Abrams on the I'll right side, the ZTD so tank destroyer on the left. I'd say just throw more that way anyway, just to keep them but, suppressed. Nah, this, this, layer is, this layer is ass from waters. All the elevation screws you up. So. We need, uh, we need accurate eyes. Squad three on the north side. Oh, this is actually a pretty good play. So, uh, Jagged official Shady Goldfish. Hey, so what we need to do I believe they're digging down this radio. They do. Us on outpost. Once the enemy starts coming towards us on outpost, then we can start doing a uh, flanking attack on Terraberg once there's less infantry on it. Can we get some... Can we get some reinforcements at Terraberg? Where, what are we getting spawned? Wait, you guys are you just have, doing an observation. <laughs> you, have, you, not, you don't have anywhere to spawn on Terraberg. Yes, yeah, hey, Sapperman. We are our coming to. Bob is getting murdered. That's what. Hey, 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 come. For hey, it's okay, it's okay, man. It's okay. It's okay. Xenox running into a squad of Marines. Flump behind them, taking shots as well. And they go down. Good response by the Marines as Command Chat in the USMC side. Uh, are getting a little bit flustered on their attacks, just kind of hitting a brick wall. Zid Meyer laying prone and taking shots now. Jagged sending a few more rounds down range. Chaos as well joining in. They might not see nobody in particular off to the front right up the hill. Grenade knocks out Chaos. Nobody in particular goes down. Good shots by Shady Goldfish. Jagged official now mops up Zid Meyer. And they're continuing the push up. And garage. Helicopter has now regained its rotors. And it is off. Off uh, maybe RTB for some more ammo and supply. But Squad 3 coming up big. Yes, holding this push. Radio, that's fine. 
I, I want them to attack outpost so that way there's less infantry on that point. And they have dug down this radio, so very important. They kept getting uh, pushed down here. Squad. They didn't want to lose that those 20 well, tickets. So squad, three just stay down there. 248 tickets survive. for the Marines, 175 once the enemy comes to attack outpost. for the Chinese, and vehicles are still... So we could have oh, hold on a second. Two be the attack squads, and everybody else should be defending outpost once it comes to that point. Could be wrong. I think they lost the Abrams. No, they didn't. Can't see it on the map at the moment. Um, where's the Abrams? Oh, Abrams is falling back there. Um, LAV 25, though, is on, is on an adventure. Hey, squad, the Severmans. Was there a tank attack in your hab? Well, for the quick camera um, movement. If you just want to start, like, um, once we set up the hab down there, once three sets up that hab, if we get a chance to, Ooh, this you might can just be... run there and, um, we're going to take a peek over down so south. The two designated attack squads. You have the ZTD tank destroyer. There's a ZBD or something due south to me. Directly up the hill for me. Let's see here. ZBD tank destroyer. Have we had any eyes or ears on their tank recently? No. Or Mexican Joker and K. Last we heard it was in the tunnel, so you can see. I don't think they realize infantry is right next to them, and they are starting to slip down the hill. They need to be very careful. Infantry right off their right as they try. <laughs> oh, the tandem hits them. They, they release the parking brake and start <laughs> sliding down the hill. Oh, no. They're tumbling down, Scorpo. Oh, it's a... Another catastrophe! The ZBD tumbles down the hill, flips on over after getting hit by the tandem round. The mer <laughs> and hey, don't worry, he's popping defensive smoke. And that is the worst way to be ambushed. ZBD mark this roughly accurate up by my squad. We're gonna try and get picked through. Trying to see if any more infantry can try to finish him off. Shady Goldfish, I believe, was the one. Oh, he, he did get killed. So Jagged Official is running, and he's trying to just make a beeline. Oh, and they do flip it. Oh, Four Leaf uh, gets run over by his own vehicle, but they're going to have to bail uh, because that is a lot of health already lost, and we're going to let them figure out their Vic. Because right on the north or south side, rather, Six. I don't know we now have an LAV <laughs> just, uh, just roaming around. I think he was trying to figure out where that vehicle was to pounce. Yeah, copy. I'm gonna hold and drop rally out here. This is uh, I'm not gonna lie. This has been a pretty. Um, I thought it was gonna be a it roll. Does not have fucking ammo, Jim Possible. I fucking told you that three goddamn times. <laughs> Damn, I'm bro. sorry, but yeah. it doesn't have fucking ammo. I'm looking at zero ammo, zero pills. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay. whoa. Oh my. You hold that for That's a glitch. Let's, let's calm down. What in the world is happening? Y'all are winning. <laughs> Squad pack, are you engaging? I. <laughs> I don't even know what is happening. All right. Um, anyway, uh, now that that has happened, command has figured out is CBD zero build, zero CBD ammo. Or whatever that is uh, out there. Um, LAV twenty five is uh, trying to take advantage of this. I can. This is. Guys, uh, I think it's important to, to remind everyone vehicle, that one, this is uh, just a game. There. I was moving north last um, and two, it's a game. <laughs> I do kind of like how he is, he is playing this like it's real, though. Like he's actually going to lose his life. That, you know, that makes it very immersive. Okay, we can take makes it very immersive. Just, uh, if we take another ladder or two, we better get out. Yep. We're gonna survive. We can take one more hat to the front, and that's it. LAV trying to yeah, just roam around. You can see him talk. Okay. Trying to say, okay, we can we can stay out here, but if we take right a couple here. more rounds and we there's, there's no point staying around. LAV 25, very good uh, 
armament, just very lightly skinned. So not a bad idea just to be aware of how much health you currently have. But, uh, so this is, I believe this is what command chat was trying to do. So you have, uh, you have the push, um, from the Chinese off of, of Terraberg, which is the point that we can see right here. This is the objective, uh, this dome. So they wanted to kind of pull the Chinese away from defending Terraberg, uh, and then draw them away from observation or towards observation post. So that way they could have a bit easier time attacking Terraberg. Not not a not a bad idea at all. Oh, and hold on a second. Chaos and Shady Goldfish. I think they're trying to go for the ZPD earlier. Shady Goldfish. Shady Goldfish was the one who got the hat in that ZBD earlier. But I don't think they realize there's an entire Chinese infantry squad right next to him now. Hilo, do you want to see if you could give squad three a hat? Yeah, I laying prone. I think he realizes just how he and Shady are. Wait, Shady, why is your apostrophe backward? Guys, the tag for the potato fields is apostrophe zero okay it's a pot it's not zero apostrophe that's like mirror that's like that's like backwards it's supposed to look like a potato grenade <laughs> chaos has it right well he has it left technically but it's correct come on <laughs> gotta get the right tag uh, let's be ready to uh, and Shady might actually find ready. himself a nice juicy target because there is a vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right I don't think they can see it. I'm going to turn off outline so you can see. He's swapping. Oh, he's swapping to the small. Loading that tandem round. Can one tap. Sapper, have your guy, your Vic, look north. There's infantry that I saw here. So they're going to come from the north ring, Sapper. Being patient. Lining up the shot. Moving right to left. Goes Crouch. Oh, that was a lot. I saw her sack. It? It's in the trees. Two are those helmet marks accurate? Oh, and he might just miss it. Uh, uh, not accurate. Yeah, We're starting to get shots from the east. Oh, he might just miss it. You can see it going over. Oh, there is a, a Nico in the APC Lodgy. And the full Lodgy, uh, the full transport, rather. Great shot, and that's going to catch it on fire. Nico completely ambushed, and he gets, oh, just barely bails out quick enough to escape the fire. Nico taking shots back at Shady. Chaos goes full auto while moving. That's a little that's a little ballsy of a play, but good vehicle kill. 202 tickets to 115. Marines, uh-oh. Uh oh, for this transport because the LAV is lining it up. But Marines, they are doing well. But I mean, it's a it's a 85 ticket game. I've seen crazier things happen. We're gonna see if this LAV can mop up the infantry here. We have Stick hey, off our right as infantry in pushing Steffer. Steffers goes down, and LAV needs to try to push into this hab area. Uh, Ogre, oh, might have been base. team killed there. Copy that. We really need to set up a and there goes the another transport. Striker. Another five tickets, 108 tickets for the Chinese now to 200 for the Marines. Three, one's coming up on you. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna see a lot of infantry around here on both sides. But you also have a big, kind of a weird infantry fight down on the south here. Abrams as well trying to go through the tunnel and flank around. Our radio is also exposed. This is a very odd looking fob right here. But I mean, the Chinese are just holding in. One break off, one break off, one break off. You, you did your supplies, just get out of there. Squad 10, I can try, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die for the for the ATGM. I can try again. 
Yeah, it's fine one. They got the build though for the half. That's what we need right now. No, I'm talking to the squad 10. He needs the squad 10. That's so Jim Possible on that ATGM from earlier. They're talking about they see this ZTD. Well, let's go take a quick peek over at this fob here. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's take a quick pick. Uh, quick pick. Quick peek at this helicopter. No resistance on point, but we need help. Well, there's very little. Can he Please land? Get some contacts on an outpost, uh, approximately 100 meters out from point. Oh, oh no! Oh man! Oh, buddy! Just set her down. Enemy heli south of dropping off infantry. Oh, buddy! You're on fire, dude. Then we should be luck. I don't. I don't think he knows. And there he goes. Okay. Um, helicopter is down. Yeah. Uh, it it like drove off the cliff. <laughs> Whatever happened to that tank? should be going into it. Helicopter we, we, is we destroyed. Oh, and hold on a second. It, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't oh, I'm not sure we're gonna get there in time. Do we need an artillery strike on Terraberg? Uh, I would say just use Oh, it, Abrams is where if you're trying to look at the map, uh, I'm looking on the left side of my map. I see a blue Abrams headed yeah, right towards a red ZTD. That's what we're trying to zoom on over to. Because the Abrams, there you see Abrams sitting of your, of your screen off to his front left. He has the ZTD uh, Chinese tank destroyer, and they heard it. They just lost it in the woods. Thank you, Juan. Thank you. He's looking the wrong way right now. ZTD is actually... Hopefully that tank Am I blind? Back, but I think it fucked off. I don't know if we can get it. Oh, there he is. Up the hill. So Abrams, All right, well, let's just go up here. Yeah, not sure if they realize exactly what's waiting yeah, for him we'll up that, there. Yeah. Tank we destroyer can do quite a lot of damage, but it's super lightly, uh, lightly armored. Oh, and uh, Abrams decides to go quite possibly the wrong way. ZTD might live another day. Damco and Dum Dum. Yeah, we're just checking down the road, to make sure there's not the infantry lots. Okay, no, I got you. That makes sense. Oh, well, they had marked it Squad earlier six, here as a transport vehicle. Squad so six, you have two armor pieces behind you. Right, oh, and they had another one. This is what they're calling out as well. You actually, I don't think they realize that this one is here. I think they, uh, command chat is talking about the one up the road. You know what armor it is? Abrams on a collision course to the ZTD. Tank Destroyer is going to be right up the hill. Tank Destroyer gets the first shot off, but the Abrams keeps rolling through and nails one right through the ZTD's lightly armored IFE chassis. And that's why a Tank Destroyer doesn't like to stick around and play with a tank. Impressive first shot, but just does not have that <laughs> sticking power. And that Abrams might just bail on out of here. Good ambush from the Abrams. Out. Took that shot like a champ. Stayed on yeah, target got, and one ZTD toe. down. I got a shot on, the, uh, on the tank with the tow. It was past oh. the range of the tow missile, and I had to I had to get the drop. Just right. Oh, they no uh, shot really. Armor, okay, so this ATGM from way downtown as that was happening, uh, Jim Possible I don't know if those infantry marks are accurate. Uh, be hits an ATGM shot road, from about 1,600 uh, meters away, the road, and the other ZTD goes down. Maybe but um, I didn't see it on Eye in the Sky, so it didn't happen. Doesn't count. Nobody saw it. <laughs> so you do have to No proof. <laughs> Um, 
artillery fire now coming in on the point. 165 tickets to 55. And you can see just how chaotic it's going to be for uh, the Chinese spawning in. Nowhere to hide. And that is just, that is probably going to be it. You see infantry on the left. This blue infantry is, uh, are the Marines pushing on in. And they need to be a little careful. Barrage still is not over. And then Miha gets a little too close. Goes down Holty and Golden Potato also takes some shrapnel. Abrams down south, returning from his journey, but I think he's got to be a little careful here. Because he still has infantry nearby. Oh, no, the infantry nearby are just riflemen. I see him right here. Uh, Ninja and Zid. Just unable to do anything about the Abrams. Just have to smile and wave. Smile and wave. Terraberg is now being secured by the Marines. Chinese infantry spawning in on the south side of this road here, trying to push back into the objective, which you can see with the dome. But it just is probably going to be too little too late. Hundred and sixty one tickets to forty. And after this, you have one lone rifleman on Los Loserner. Loserner. No, this isn't a real word, Norway. Okay? That's not a real word. There's not enough vowels. L-J-O-S-R-N-Y-R. Los... Losernur. That's not a real word. You guys say Finnish is a weird language. Every word... Every letter in Finnish is pronounced how it's pronounced, Okay? You don't have any of these weird things. Pilot, can squad two get a pickup off of an awe is always an awe. captured, and we can start moving to the next point. That is Leonard. Elo, Elo is gonna be down for four little minutes. Type of stuff. Mad Bros, Mattis, and Fun Sponge running back, trying to get on the objective. Thirty-five tickets. Uh, Marines nearly have it neutralized. I don't know. Yeah. There's not enough staying power, I think, right now with the Marines. Infantry are just going to pick them off, and they might not even neutralize this. Oh, it was about 5 to 10% to neutral, and enough Chinese infantry pushing in. They've stopped the cap. The Bull 762 holding off an entire fire team now in this little indirect fire shelter. This is really smart. Not too many people use these indirect fire shelters. Survives artillery blast really good to just kind of stick and fight out of. Holdy bolty golden potato the, uh, Miha. Oh, golden potato Major. goes down. Chaos trying to push up. Chaos goes to clear it. Oh, why are you proning? And oh no, why do you do that? So many times people prone through like camo netting or prone through a door it just makes it easier for you to die and there you go infantry might come up and back them up though 27 tickets Four left for the chinese chaos and his fire team still pushing through chinese infantry trying to just hold off at you might lose but you don't want to lose on you know maybe this cap and another oh hold on a second it's been uh, endless enjoyment and entertainment from the helicopters this round. Might as well see what this one does. Spot eight, also up there. My guys are saying there's infantry on the hill. One that we can see down here. Oh, it takes some 50. Say again. It's a few uh, more 50, Calraz. He's already smoking. East, where that radio mark is on the east side of the hill. He's going to turn yeah, around and. Yeah. There is. Not uh, quite sure what exactly. Maybe right just trying to scout out a little bit. Trying to figure out where infantry is. Enemy how we can support. Just go north above Gerksburg. I don't know if it cut off. I can't see Helicopter it. is going to be in prime yeah, ATGM yeah, range, yeah, though. ATGM. Oh, he fires it. You see the smoke way off in the distance. I'm not sure if he's going to have 
the range. ATGM trying to come in and it sails right off to our right. Impacts off screen. Happens getting built on Terraberg. That he's gonna try to go for, and I would too. Helicopter trying to come in for some resupply. ATGM's trying to reload. And he might have a perfect shot right here if he has enough ammo. Gotta wait for that little smoke poof. Oh, does it matter? Small impacts into the side. And helicopter nearly goes down again. Very unlucky for the Marine not to knock out the engine. But 20 tickets left. And 136 tickets, and now we have, this is, I believe, a PLA um, artillery strike going in from the west side. Actually, very good defensive artillery. The issue is there's not really uh, an attacking force for the Chinese at the moment. They're just kind of sitting in, and they might think the tickets are kind of close, but... Chinese have just lost way too many vehicles this round. I think if the vehicles uh, didn't go down, it'd be a much closer game. Oh, it's definitely radio. Yep. Let's take a look at Swiggy Tommy Kill. Trying to push back onto the objective. Let's see, very difficult. To spot anyone here, you got marksman just bipoded, and good shots knocks out one from from range. Really good shots. Artillery now coming in though. This might get this whole uh, western flank, and there it goes. Swiggy Tommy kill go down. Also will very good defensive artillery right now. Might also get Colt Ramirez and Hydra. This is gonna creep down the hill. There it goes. Hydra goes down as well. They gotta give him credit, calling in a very good artillery strike from Mirez now. That's five. Chaos as well, six. Command artillery might have just nailed it on the location here. Ogre, seven. American infantry just trying to, oh, eight, nine. You got infantry spotted in on the rally and they just get popped. Agra or agent down there as well. That's 10. Stir fry 11. Yeah, they are moving to engage. And that is going to be it. Talk about an arty strike. Gets oh, oh, nearly a quarter of the team. And you just wish you had a little bit of an offensive uh, pressure to follow up that because good defense, just not enough offense. Got to give the Chinese uh, command. At least a little bit of credit there. Not throwing in the towel. But Shady Goldfish and his team are going to mop it up. Ten tickets remaining. And we're going to see if we have perhaps a vehicle pop to end it here. Oh, hold on a second. They're not giving up. Ten tickets left, but Star Wars and the Bull have gone down, and they've actually destroyed the radio. Radio is on bleed out, and Marines are losing their attack fob right at the end. Hey, uh, That's another squad, is accurate. So they're losing this. This is minus 20 tickets, unless the Chinese can literally not lose a or single asset radio, or great. give up. Uh, it's to still going to be yeah, over, okay. but this is a very, very like good last stand radio, for the Chinese. And you have Sam Crow. He's a hat kit yeah, off to the left, and he actually might get a chance to do some damage yeah, okay. at the end good. as well. Uh, as the yeah, Abrams comes rolling down the road, this Abrams them. engine, very distinctive. Hat kit oh, off shit. to the left. Uh. Abrams. Trying to end the game on this, a high note. Way. They're fucked if they come this way. It's like a, they gotta go up the hill. Yeah, Abrams trying to just use this as kind of a hold down position. You can see infantry off to the left. Fake blast. Another three infantry minutes. trying to take an advantage uh, of a very, I think, casual Abrams crew. Oh my goodness, he skies it! 
10, oh, okay, 11. Whiffed on a stationary uh, target. Uh, it's a horrible time to mention right now that the Chinese hat kit yeah, also to has a range finder. Um, but yeah, I'll mention it. Right also has a range finder. <laughs> Uh, hey, how and Skip not seeing where Sam is, but that is disappointing if you're the hat because that is going to just about in the game here. Six tickets remaining. 84. I mean, they the Chinese kind of came back at the end there. Just uh, their earlier vehicle losses kind of really uh, solidified uh, so the result. We're, we're being, we're being streamed. What? Because uh, they just—they're taking down two radios right now that are not even anywhere near points. I would recommend uh, uh, putting your radios game. not next to your Logi vehicles or vice versa. You guys are fine. Play the game. <laughs> they're talking about this one, which is by the Logi. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to always respond to that. You guys have seen uh, my it. My spot is moving back to Kierland to try and recover <laughs> this radio. We're just going to dig it down if we get to it. Um, anyway, four tickets remaining. And, uh, <laughs> I think they might watch this back and realize where their radio placements were and their vehicle placements were. And regret it. Uh, down to 61 uh, but 61 tickets, three tickets remaining, and good last stand. Once again, two tickets. That's going to be it. Tommy Kill really up and in there. And there you go. 61 to zero. GG's. Vehicles really just kind of leaving the infantry up to dry there. 209 kills to 177. 42 revives to 63. Good effort from the Chinese, but USMC with the dub. G, geez.